Hello everyone, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to give you my top 10 reasons for why I am an Apple fanboy. These are my top 10 personal reasons as to why I love Apple, and that's not to say that other companies don't have a similar feature, but Apple does have these features, so why not stay with Apple? I have a MacBook Pro, I have an iPad Pro, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, I have the AirPods Pro, I have an Apple Watch Series 5, I have the Apple leather case, I have the Apple keyboard, and I have an Apple Pencil, so, Tons of Apple stuff going on. But anyways, let's get right into number one. So reason number one is usability and portability. I love just how thin and light everything is. Because the AirPods can fit right into my pocket, I want to listen to music and listen to podcasts even more because it's not a journey to have to reach into my backpack and to have to turn it on. I know that I can just reach into my pocket, flip it out, and as soon as I put it in my ears, they're automatically on. With the MacBook Pro, I love how I don't have to turn it on and off. I can just shut it and it's just like a smartphone. You just have to open it back up and it just unlocks and it works with your Apple Watch. So super amazing. Even if you don't have an Apple Watch, it has Touch ID. You don't have to type in a password. I had a gaming laptop that I had two or three years ago and it was a big heavy 17 inch laptop and so I had to sell it because it just wasn't that portable for college. But with my 13 inch MacBook Pro and with my iPad Pro, I believe the combined weight is less than the laptop and they're much thinner and much lighter. So just being able to carry everything around me and to have it where I need it to be just makes me want to use it more. Reason number two is the premium quality and the premium luxury. To me, Apple products are just so visually appealing. If I'm gonna spend a lot of money for some technology, I am pretty vain and I do want it to look nice. And boy, do Apple products look nice. So the fact that like Apple uses like the best stainless steel and the aluminum and glass, it just feels very premium and it feels very luxurious. As long as I'm not being dumb and abusing it, I just feel like they're gonna last me such a long time and that it's still gonna feel very nice to the touch and feel very premium and luxurious to hold. Like the gold on the iPhones and on the watches are just so nice. Like it just like screams luxury. So on top of it being a functional piece of technology, it can also be a fashion statement for sure. And that's why I did get my specific spec of the Apple Watch because I just love the gold. So reason number three is the long lifespan of Apple products. I still see people in my lecture halls using the 2015 MacBook Pro and under. I see people using the old MacBook Airs as well. Like that just lets you know that you're able to use these products for a very long time. Like my girlfriend, she has an iPhone 7 Plus. It was actually my 7 Plus from a while ago. And even though it is a bit cracked and beat up um, because of her own reasons, it still feels very smooth. Like I still see her use her phone and I've used it a couple times and it still feels like a brand new phone. But I just know that if I didn't upgrade my Apple products so fast, that I could use them for years on end and I'll still be able to get the newest updates and that it'll still run smooth. Reason number four is the software. I just love Mac OS, iOS, and iPad OS. That's not to say that I don't like Windows because if you look over here, I have a Windows computer. I can see the pros and cons of both, but I do appreciate Mac OS because they're not trying to sell you anything. There is no bloatware. I can just open my MacBook Pro and I'll know that there's nothing on my screen. However, if I turn on this bad boy over here, a million different pop-ups come up and it's so annoying. And I see these different advertisements and I get like these targeted things compared to uh, with Safari and with Mac OS where I just don't get a ton of spam. And then with iPad OS and with iOS, I'm able to have different functions such as like Sidecar, which I'll go into later, AirDrop, which I'll go into later, and iMessage. Like it's just amazing how the software just all works together and how it feels very clean and it doesn't feel bloated. Reason number five is the display. Apple's displays are just so amazing. The Retina display on the MacBook Pro is just very bright, very color accurate, and very contrasty. It just feels sharp and it feels good to look at. With the iPad Pro display, that ProMotion display with the 120 hertz display is just so fast, quick, and snappy. Like if you have not seen it before, you need to check it out. You just need to check it out compared to your phone or compared to your normal iPad because 120 hertz is so amazing and I really hope they incorporate the ProMotion display into the iPhones in the future year, whether it's this year or next year or just in the future. With the iPhone 11 Pro Max, that Pro Display, XDR, whatever they wanna call it, is very nice. I know that the screen may be made by Samsung, but either way, it's amazing. That 1080p OLED display is very bright, very color accurate, and the HDR mode is super amazing. Just being able to watch like a Jonathan Morrison video and see that dynamic range, it's pretty nice. And then with the Apple Watch, it doesn't look pixely at all. Like their LTPO display works very well. It's very sharp and it's very bright when you need it to. And then that variable refresh rate will just tone itself down to conserve battery. So just in general, their displays are so amazing. 
Number six is iMessage. I love being able just to connect iMessage to my phone, my watch, my iPad, and my MacBook Pro, and know that I can pick up where I left off anywhere. I can send a text on my watch, I can respond to it from my phone, and I can send a message to my MacBook Pro, or I can type on it on my Apple keyboard on my iPad Pro. Number seven, which is pretty important for me, is AirDrop. AirDrop is part of the reason why I did end up getting a Mac OS computer in the first place, because I had an iPad Pro that I got for free from The Ohio State University, and so I wanted to have AirDrop so that way I could share files easily. I can share my notability apps to my MacBook Pro, and I can share like Word docs or PowerPoints or whatever from my MacBook Pro to my iPad Pro. Just being able to send documents to one another and being able to connect like your Photos app and whatnot between your phone, iPad, and MacBook is very convenient, and it makes file sharing between all three super easy. Number eight is the W1 slash H1 chip. So with that, it lets you connect between different Apple devices so easily. Like as soon as you turn it on, it'll automatically connect to like the nearest Apple device. And then let's say you're listening to your AirPods on your iPhone, you can switch to your MacBook Pro so easily. It's not even hard at all. You just go to system preferences and it connects so easy. You don't have to turn it off and turn it back on. You don't have to disconnect and reconnect. You don't have to repair or anything like that. Just being able to have the W1 or H1 chip is very convenient when switching between different platforms, which I find myself doing a lot. Like if I am at the office at my other job, I'll literally have my MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and phone on at one time, and I might want to switch between the two. I might want to listen to a podcast on my phone, but then watch a YouTube video on my computer or whatnot. It's actually very, very convenient for me, and I find it very useful throughout my day. So reason number nine is Sidecar. It is a bit hard to use because you do need to have a specific MacBook and you need to have a specific iPad, but let's say you have the two right devices, it's so convenient and it's so awesome. It's great being able to have Premiere Pro up on my uh, MacBook Pro and being able to have Google Docs or YouTube or another tab on my iPad Pro and not have to worry about switching tabs so much and it helps me have a more efficient and fast uh, work, work, workflow, workflow. So reason number 10, which is kind of like a generalization, is just the ecosystem. There are other ecosystems, such as like the Microsoft ecosystem or the Google ecosystem, but with the Apple ecosystem, everything just works with each other. Everything just communicates. You can connect all of your devices together and interact with them through features such as iMessage and through AirDrop and everything. And so that's why I just want to stick with Apple. It wouldn't make any sense at all to have like a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 with a pair of AirPods because they just don't work well together. You got to get those Galaxy Buds. So just be being able to keep everything uniform in Apple just helps everything communicate better and helps it for a smooth and easy to use experience. But that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to have a friendly discussion. I love all the comments I have been getting lately. I love being able to respond to them. So please feel free to drop a comment down below and we can talk some more. We can go ahead and have a discussion, have an argument, talk about some pros and cons because I'm not a super Apple fanboy. As you see right behind me, I do have a Windows desktop computer that I built from scratch, and I appreciate and love this so much, and this is where I do most of my editing. So if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.